Dragon Ball Super episode 44 quick review um for those that have been watching my video for a while you probably already know what I'm going to say about this episode I hate Monaka I hate Monaka so much <laughs> I think it's a waste of a character and I think it's a waste of time but I'm not going to go into that here <laughs> but no, so Monaka was boring. I was, did not enjoy the Monaka thing, the scenes that were trying to be funny with Monaka. Um, I did not really, I couldn't really take it seriously. Goten and Trunks were acting like they were in danger. They're not even going super high, and it's the same as the Universe 6 tournament. It's like we know if they transform, they can handle it easily. Because Super Saiyan is a 50 times multiplier. They, they, they're able to fight. Hold their own against the guy without that without that multiplier. Of course, they could win with it. It doesn't make sense. Then, of course, Goten and Trunks Tr acted at one point in the episode like they didn't know didn't know about Monaka being weak, which doesn't make any sense. Because the entire point of the of like what episode 41, 42, like yeah, forty two. The entire point of episode forty two was to hide their strength. That. With the high Monaka being weak from Goku, and that was like two weeks ago. So yeah, there's no excuse for that. That's all Toei. And yeah, I mean the the whole thing with Vegeta fighting this thing and making a clone of him, it's a load of crap. It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. The it's like it like stole his key. How can you? I don't understand how you can steal somebody's key. That doesn't make. That doesn't make sense. Then of course, there's just there's a lot of other things and that there is that one thing on Kyo Sama Planet or King Kai Planet in the dub where we see Goku comment about why he's not training on Beerus' planet, which is that Whis isn't there and he doesn't know where he is. Now, I don't know. I've talked about this with an anime export on Skype last night after I heard about the line from Herms on Condensu. Once again, Herms and Condens do all that in the description for when I mention it. But yeah. No, but we were talking about it and briefly. We had no idea. We could not come up with one reason as to why or we think God or where he is. Uh, I believe it's going to tie into the next arc. Because not next week. Next week we get the preview for the episode where the future trunk arc starts. No, act what I like to believe. I feel like I'm going to probably tie in. But I could be wrong. It could not tie in at all. The whole point is, is that that one line is... I would say it's going to be important where he is. I have absolutely no idea. Some people are saying, hey, maybe he's the villain. And then that dark beard is Paraguay. No, he's not the freaking villain. Okay. P Toriyama did not say the next villain's hair was going to be white. He said it, they would, it would be white involved in their color scheme. And so I heard they think he meant Frieza. He could have meant somebody else. Please just think about this and think before you say it. Waste is not the next villain. This line did not indicate that at all. Okay, moving on to that little rant. Um, I'm trying to, I mean, there were a couple entertaining parts. The only thing I liked about in this episode were the Bulma and Vegeta moments, and the whole Jocko and Vegeta being in the faces together. That was, that was priceless. Really good comedy. But besides for that, it was kind of a letdown. I didn't really, I didn't, I don't not like it, but I did enjoy it. I kind of like, whatever. I don't really care about it, and I'm definitely never gonna watch it again. But it's not, it's not, it doesn't have the like grand thing. So if I had to rate it, then I got two out of five. I I did not like the police episode. I'm sorry. If you liked it, that's good for you. I didn't. Next week we will get the preview for the episode where the future trunks arc starts. So we're we gonna be hyped for that. We're only like we're only two weeks away from that, which is great. Uh, the podcast should be out on two. We'll be out on Tuesday. We're gonna have to go on, we're going to try to record it today, get that over with a little bit earlier, and get that out in time for Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed that. 
Also, if you had not seen the Dragon Ball podcast that me and Adam asked for, Dig with Herms, go check that out. Link will be in the description. Yeah, it's like a 2 out of 5. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. It wasn't even really a review, I guess you could say, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Tell me your thoughts on the episode in the comment section down below. Have a great day.